Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about scraping. So this is the new rage at home. We went from Theragun and now we're on to scraping. So every once in a while a new tool crops up that everybody has at home and uh, you do have to be careful when you're scraping at home. Just like a Theragun, there are things that you can overdo. You can injure yourself with it. Um, I think that Theragun is much safer at home than a scraping tool. You can injure yourself with a scraping tool. So you do have to be very careful. Most of them are metal, like the one in my hand. And so it can cause some damage. Most of your Theraguns have a softer point um, that you can't really get that deep into the muscle. But because you are applying pressure um, on by yourself, or maybe a partner is applying that pressure, and you're using a tool, and a lot of times it's a very hard plastic or even a metal, um, you can cause damage to the underlying tissue if you do not do it correctly. So um, I'm not gonna tell you not to do it. I would advise him being treated by a physical therapist first, um, and then they can advise you on exactly what technique you should be using um, and how you should be using it, what depth you should go to when you're scraping, because it does make a difference and you don't want to injure tissue that's not already injured um, by improper scraping. But we are going to go through a couple of things because I know there's people out there that are going to scrape regardless of whether they've seen a physical therapist or not. So this is going to be a little bit of an intro course on scraping um, and how you do it. So what you can do is you always want to scrape on skin. So you never want to scrape over clothes. So I've rolled up my sleeve here. Okay. Now, a lot of times, if you have hand pain or wrist pain, here's a really good spot to scrape. This is tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, um, over here, over here, any type of elbow pain. You can scrape, but these techniques hold true for your legs also. So when you, wanna, when you start scraping, you're going to want to just gently scrape the muscle, okay? Don't apply a lot of pressure to it, okay? Because a lot of times, just pushing down a little bit and scraping the muscle is going to be enough. Now the further you get towards places on your body where there's not much tissue, so my little tiny wrists here, I don't have a ton of excess fat or muscle on them, so I don't have to push real hard and I'm on bone. So be careful. Scraping can be uncomfortable, so it's not on heard of that you're gonna have pain as you're moving this tool down, but you don't wanna necessarily be, it should not be excruciating. So you're just gonna go, you can go down, you can go back and forth, um, but you just wanna nice and easily touch on that muscle. You may run over spots that are very tender, so you can hold on them and you can kind of scrape over them. What you don't wanna do is sit there and drill this down into it and really kind of wrench any sore spots because what that can do is that can really cause some inflammation and make all of the other tissues uh, make make everything worse than uh, it actually was so you can I have I just put lotion on my arms this morning so I don't need any more but when you're using a scraping tool you can use some type of lotion if you choose to um, the ends people like to get carried away with really getting into certain areas again be mindful that you are using a very hard plastic or a very or a metal tool and going into the muscle so you are going to see results just even with five minutes of just scraping the muscle nice and easy okay the more you dig into an area the more you push on a spot the more likely are you to flare everything else up. So you do wanna be careful. So most of the time, you're not gonna feel any results right away from scraping. You can, but most of the time, and this is where people get themselves into trouble because they'll just keep scraping and scraping and think that, okay, I, I don't feel anything. I have to go harder, I have to go longer. It doesn't take that much. It doesn't take that much pressure, it doesn't take that much time. So come back 24 hours later, 48 hours later, you may notice a difference. If not, you can go ahead and scrape again. Sometimes you will feel a difference. Like there was just a little bit of uncomfortableness right here on my elbow. Just did a little bit of this, it's all gone. 
some of that uncomfortableness may disappear. But again, you do not want to spend this time and really drill into one spot. Couple little scrapes and then move down the arm. If you're doing this as a preventative measure, that's great. Try to clear everything out after a good workout and you're doing this on your whole body, you know, just a few quick scrapes down the arm, okay, on the forearm, on the leg, wherever, and then move on. Now, you don't want to do it over clothes, so I shouldn't have done that, but just nice and easy just to scrape everything all over your body. Again, no more than, no more than five minutes on one body part, and even that's a lot. Even that little bit of just demonstration, I can feel that I was just scraped. So you know that you're not gonna feel anything right away. This is not an instantaneous um, release of anything that you're gonna feel most of the time. It is going to be something you're gonna feel 24 hours later. So start off very small, maybe just two minutes of scraping. See how you feel the next day. If it doesn't hurt you too much, then increase to another two minutes. But again, don't go above that five. I've known people to really put themselves into some severe pain by scraping too hard and too long, especially on that first time. If you or someone you know needs to uh, see a physical therapist and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in for a free consultation. Thanks and have a good day.